I feel in my heart that it matters not who or how you love. Debuting the day after the Oscars and running until March 3rd, now with President Donald Trump's first address to Congress taking over primetime on February 28th, ABC's ambitious four-part LGBTQ civil rights miniseries, When We Rise, aims to achieve the epic scope of this traditional network format in what is a real-life great American multi-decade saga of courage and perseverance against prejudice and a desire for justice and love to persevere. This is much bigger than you realize. Unfortunately, the star-studded eight-hour Dustin Lance Black created, Gus Van Sant, Deezy Reams, Thomas Schmal, and Black himself directed docudrama instead unflatteringly becomes undermined unto its own aims in its far too dense and simultaneously limited depiction that detracts from the panoramic scope that should be shining throughout. In short, less would have been more. My hair might be gray and my face might be worn, but I have more energy in this ravaged body than any of you have in your skinny little limbs combined, and that includes you lesbians. Look, starting promisingly and with a brisk pace in 2006, before jumping back into the horrors of the AIDS epidemic, same-sex marriage discrimination, and 1972 and the roots of the gay liberation movement via Life magazine, the Guy Pierce, Mary Louise Parker, Michael Kenneth Williams, Rosie O'Donnell, David Hyde Pierce, T.R. Knight, Scandal's Matthew DeNegro as Gavin Newsom, Whoopi Goldberg, and Rachel Griffith's starring project simply needed to be slimmed down and to be much more focused in its narrative and true timelines to do the real history and real participants it seeks to honor justice itself. In that, the San Francisco-centric When We Rise, with its clips of news reports, takes way too long to get going with the big names and, in many ways, the consequences of big moves save for almost too far in, which is a stumble. Because the final episode, which you really should watch, and the battle for marriage equality of the last decade and more it totemically shows, is stirring and actually must-see TV especially in the America of 2017, where safe harbor for some in our society is once again shrinking. We are the lesbians and gay men of San Francisco. We are survivors. Like David France's magnificent recent bestseller, How to Survive a Plague, When We Rise drills deep into the gay rights movement. And in that process, it goes so deep that in fact, sometimes it feels like there is almost no rock or pebble left unturned which can make for comprehensive reading, but difficult to sustain television that ignores much of what made so many miniseries soar, even on the bad hand, with an oddly often surface level, almost Wonder Years approach of good intentions amidst bad 70s outfits and worse wigs, and on the very good hand, a seriously enticing performance by the Happen Leonard and Boardwalk Empire alum Williams as a Vietnam vet and now community organizer alienated from the mainstream gay movement and from his fellow African Americans and fellow ex-service members by his race in one case and his sexuality in another. It's an illness. It can be treated. I don't understand. I don't understand! From homosexuality being horrifically deemed a mental disorder in this country up until 1974, and despite all the struggle and transformative strides for freedom made socially, culturally, and legally since then, as well as the tremendous discrimination and, yes, the violence that still exists in our society, the fact that a miniseries like this is on a broadcast network night after night next week is a great thing. And Oscar-winning milk screenwriter Black and all those involved deserve the appreciation of all lovers of freedom. I just wish the actual result of When We Rise rose to a greater height itself. 